Welcome back, YouTube. This is how I make my enchilada sauce. Compliments of my mother's recipe. She's gonna kill me when she finds out this is on YouTube. Let's get started. Half an onion, four to five chile guajillos, four to five chile anchos, four to five garlic cloves, one chile de arbol. You can use more if you want, if you want it spicier, but I have kids. Uh, your abuelita chocolate, obviously. Your chicken broth, I'm using one can of chicken broth, um, teaspoon of oregano, teaspoon of noor. I also have water on the side because you wanna cook all of this together. Make sure it's covered uh, with water and liquid perfectly. The best way to make it, in my opinion, is with leftover liquid, your chicken broth, from chicken breast that you've cooked a couple days ago. That's the best way to do it. Uh, but you could also just use plain water. So I'm just using water and chicken broth. Let's get started. All right, so we put everything in the pot except for the chocolate, the noir and the oregano. Chocolate's in the blender. We got the chiles in there, onion, garlic, your liquid broth. You're probably wondering where the seeds are at. Well, I forgot to mention that I take the seeds out. You can leave them in, but it's much better if you take the seeds out, way better. Your enchilada sauce will come out way smoother. Got some refried beans on deck, along with some rice. All right, I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit, put all this into a blender, along with the chocolate. The chocolate is gonna naturally melt. Let it cool off in here for about a good 10 minutes. We'll be back. All right, so I transferred everything from the pot into here, I put all the liquid in there. Uh, if it's too watery, I will add some saltine crackers to it. All right, I'm gonna add the nor and oregano. Let this cool off for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, the chocolate abuelita is at the bottom. It's gonna naturally melt and you're gonna be all set. We'll come back. All right, YouTube, so you saw how I made the enchiladas in the pan. Nice, quick, and easy. No splash, all right? That's how I make them. I know there's many different ways of making them. Kids are digging in. What do you guys think? It's so good. Like it? Not too spicy? Perfect, no Perfect. spicy. All right, got some rice and beans on the side. I also topped it off with uh, some shredded cheese on top. This guy's hungry, aren't you? All right, scale of one to 10, what do you guys give it? 11. 11? Oh, thank you. You're being kind because I'm your dad or? No. Maybe? All right, what do you give it, Ethan? One to, ten, one to 10. 12. 12? All right, thank you. All right, so there it is, YouTube. Subscribe and like, share. This is how I make my enchiladas. Thank you, Grandma, for giving me the recipe. It's gonna live on forever and ever, all right? you. One day, you guys are gonna be, you and Ethan, are gonna be watching this video on how to make this enchilada sauce. Of course. All right, for your family, okay? Adios, God bless. Bye-bye.